Okay, I wanted to do something else real quick before vi filming the uh, Zodiac thing, but see, I just watched something for WWE, and it, honest to God, gave me a terrifying thought. I saw that WWE are going to be putting out new Bruno San Martino t-shirts. One, that's freaking awesome, because Bruno San Martino is a cornerstone and a pillar of what pro wrestling has been. He's an icon among icons. But then it got me thinking... Let me get the thing first. What if, and I'm terrified of this, WWE is gonna have Roman Reigns try to become the new, the new version of Bruno San Martino? And by that I mean, what if they're gonna try to have Roman, may, have us truly like the idea of Roman Reigns breaking Bruno San Martino's world rec record setting reign as champion? Eight years. I'm almost terrified. I'm legitimately, I'm legitimately terrified that'd be the thing. Since one, I believe that that record should never be broken ever. That no one should come close to that record. Two, I'm terrified because that seems like something Vince would try to do to make himself feel like a genius. Because... And here's, I know people still love Roman Reigns. I'm bored of it. It's the same thing every week. He shows up, cuts some stupid promo, beats someone up, and then he doesn't wrestle! You ever notice that? Find me the last match Roman Reigns had on SmackDown television. He's becoming Brock Lesnar. Yes, I said that. He's becoming a Brock Lesnar champion. Meaning, he'll only wrestle when this is on the line, and this is only on the, only on the line at a pay-per-view. I will give credit, he's actually wrestling every month, but that's, he's wrestling less than MJF! I truly really, I think he's wrestling, has a smaller wrestling schedule than MJF, mainly because Vince will just keep jacking out money by firing other superstars into... One of my subscribers who keeps commenting this, yes, I know there are other reasons for the WWE releases. Doing these jokes about Roman and Vince being the reasons is just so much easier. Lucky Schwartz, I believe, is who keeps commenting this. But yeah, Bruno San Martino's record should not be touched by anyone. I don't care how popular they are, They'll never be as big as Bruno San Martino. But knowing Roman's ego, and again, this is gimmick wise, I'm talking about actual, I'm talking about Roman Reigns, not Joe. Roman probably has an ego that thinks he's two times the bit, two times as big as Bruno San Martino. I'm gonna just say this Bruno in his prime would out-wrestle Roman Reigns any day. Come at me, Roman ass-kissers. I'm not denying the talent of Roman Reigns. I'm just saying, good God. I hope by the time he beats Brock Lesnar's reign of 500-plus days as Universal Champion, we get a new champion. I am a fan of long title reigns when it makes sense. Roman's title reign hasn't made any sense to me. For so long, it was just Kevin Owens. Who was the last guy to challenge for the Universal title? Brock Lesnar. And I'll say this, WWE not, might want to forget he existed, but I'm positive of all fans can agree that Chris Benoit is a better wrestler and a better performer, and just better in general than Roman Reigns. The only thing Roman may be a little bit, may be better at Chris Benoit is talking. But yeah, Chris. I I say that because I've been on a, my mind's been constantly circling around Chris Benoit. Yeah.
No, I chose Jesus. I actually believe this guy's a better wrestler than Roman Reigns. Yes. I and I'm not just saying that as an AEW fan. I am an AEW fan, but I've been a WWE fan for most of my life as a wrestling fan. But watching technical wrestling and just wrestling in the ring, Roman's pure power. He's aggressive. This dude, Jungle Boy, is a better technical it's better technical wrestler than Roman Reigns. Plus, he doesn't need his tag team partners to interfere in his matches to help him win. And I'll say again, I remember I made a video on this, but I'm going to say it again. Roman Reigns' WrestleMania record is pathetic. And anyone who comes after me saying it's not that he's had he's on. He's had so many. He's I think he's under. He's had big wins. Yeah, he's had main many WrestleMania main events. Look at the main events. Look who his opponent is. Find someone who isn't in the twilight of their career, and even then, past their career. Find someone who isn't over fifty years old that he's wrestled at WrestleMania. Do that for me before you. It's a Roman Reigns ass kisser. And also, whenever people hold up this for Roman... I hate that freaking light. Do this for Roman Reigns. I'm doing this. Because I'm bored. It's the same... He was mocking John Cena for the freak... Doing the same thing when he came back. Ever since he's been back for the past two... For the past year. It's been the same thing. Acknowledge me. I am the only king. I am the tribal chief. Blah, blah. Freaking blah. Here's a new one. I need my cousins to protect my title reign. Because when Roman first won the universal title, it was legit. I could believe it. He defended it actually fairly for a heel. Aside from the freaking low blows. But now with the bloodline... It'll always end up with the Usos or Heyman interfering. Just want to get this stuff off my chest. And please, WWE, leave that record alone. No one wants to see Roman Reigns with that universal title for eight years. No one. I don't even the biggest Roman Reigns fan doesn't want to see him with that. Actually... You know what? He might just end up winning, holding it for plus eight years because they'll just keep firing people. 2K25. Only Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is the cover star. Roman Reigns is the disc. Roman Reigns is the title character. Roman Reigns is the only music in the, t the game. 2K25. The Roman Reigns edition. The story of Roman Reigns facing Roman Reigns. Facing Roman Reigns with the timekeeper. Roman Reigns is the freaking everything. Because Roman Reigns is the only thing in the WWE, isn't it, Vince? Again, to look at shorts, I know there's legit reasons. This is just easier and more fun for me.